We're Rock 1039 The Bear. I am Tommy, hanging out with Chachi from Pop Evil, buddy. How you doing, brother? I'm great, man. It feels so good to be, you know, far from home and to say, see a familiar face, dude. I'm absolutely, absolutely, man. I know you were, like, texting me, and I've seen all the social media when you guys were in Chi-Town with Johnny K doing the new record, Onyx. Tell me about it, since I didn't get to go. It's, uh, I mean, it was a work in progress. It was, it was uh, it, it's such a story, you know? I mean, I feel like... Uh, so, so much to say about you know the rock industry and where it's going, and I think uh, I think it's on the incline. Like obviously, you know today sold out this week, or this year, first time in Rock on the Range. Uh, we went in the studio and kind of looked at ourselves and kind of blamed ourselves, maybe some of the weakness in rock music as musicians, and like we said, we made two albums. We're not overly impressed with what we've done so far. We need to do better. We need to get ourselves better. We went in there, we pushed boundaries, we tried new things, and every band I feel like says, you know, this is our newest record. It's our best record. But I don't think that's for us to decide. I think it's like up to the fans and the listeners. I will say it's our most unique and uh, maybe risky record. We tried new things. We pushed the envelope. It's a new team. It's the best. It's the best five guys we've had in the band, and it's we're clicking and gelling, and everything's great. Well, I'm driving down the road the other day, and my girlfriend's 11-year-old son. He's with me in the car. Trenches comes on the air, and he's going. He's going, man, I love that song. He's going, here I come, here I come. Yeah, I mean, he's 11 years old. He's like singing right along with it, man. That's I mean, that's what we need. I mean, young people. We need to re-inspire young people and uh, and the rock music and and it's all music, you know. Like, there's so many other distractions for young people today. Uh, it's good to see music is still strong, and that's. I mean, that's stuff that you dream about and you hope for always, you know, seeing the kids is what's the best, the best, the best. But it's just cool, you know, he did it on his own. He's going, man, that rocks. That song's fun. That's so awesome. I mean, last night we were driving out and there was a group of people out by the campground blasting it, dude. I mean, that's, I, I, there's nothing like, there's no greater feeling, you know, especially being in the Midwest uh, and just seeing people, like, getting a, re a positive reaction from something that you created. I kind of saw the video the other day. Where'd you guys do that at? It looked pretty awesome. We shot the video in Sweden. We flew over there uh, and shot three videos in ten days. And it's a, uh, it's trenches is the is the the last video chronologically to a trilogy of three videos, and uh, it was awesome. I mean the scenery. Uh, Matt and I rode Harley's to the to the castle where we shot the video, and you know get to ride Harley's in Gothenburg every day. So that was pretty rad. Badass, badass, very much so. Uh, you guys work with Johnny K in Chicago, as we talked about earlier. He's worked with Disturbed and so many other great bands. Uh, did your boys get to play any of his guitars? Johnny's pretty famous for having a nice stack of guitars. Yeah, I mean, that guy's uh, a collection of equipment is, is pretty phenomenal. I remember specifically Nick uh, using uh, a 57, I think it was, gold, gold top Les Paul. I mean, we were doing everything we could to try to find a way to accidentally load the wrong guitar in a case, but uh, everything was beautiful, man. And just before you guys went on, when you guys were in South Bend a while back, I ran into him. I was talking to that, standing on the side of the stage. He goes, I goes, did you get to check the guitars? I goes, yeah. He goes, I have a 59 reissue. Johnny has a 59. That dude, and he's a great player. I mean, he's he's one of those guys you go in the studio to work with him and get his ideas, and he makes a lot of guitar players look bad. <laughs> he's a he's a phenomenal. Well, you guys are a band that tour pretty much nonstop, the occasional day off. What are some of the things you guys like to do? I know you like to work out, but what are some of the things you like to do when you get a break? Uh, I mean, everybody's really into. It's cool. The cool thing is we're five very much individual, different people. Uh, but definitely, we're all huge sports fans. I mean, I'm Detroited out right now. Uh, Red Wings round game two. I mean, I'm a huge Wings fan. Lions uh, play video games. We're all big gamers. Uh, work out. I read a lot. I know that's lame. And uh, occasionally, I'm a huge, I'm a huge craft beer fan. I like to tip back a few brews. Michigan's a pretty great state for that. And uh, Indiana, and Illinois, you have Goose Island, Three Floyds, all right there in the area. It's a good place to be. I know you're a big social media head. How about the rest of the guys in the band? The tweet, the social media, the Facebook, the Instagram, all that. Some definitely need their arm twisted more than others, but it's okay. You know, everyone. Uh, Everyone has different strengths and weaknesses, and we play to that. I really enjoy the social media, uh, Facebook, you know, uh, uh, Instagram, Twitter, and so uh, Matt is pretty active. Also, both of us as individuals, and a lot of the other guys just kind of use the band uh, when they can on and off. And Matt and I also contribute to the band. So, it, it, I just kind of think of it as something way for me to not only stay grounded and level with like family and friends, but it's thing that it's things that fans like, and anything I can do to help the fans and give back is what I want to do. Well, you guys played our station show last year, the Growl. 
Wow, any chance you guys would want to do it again? I would love to come back to the Big Bear Growl. We had an awesome time. So many people that we saw there that came out uh, to other shows were like, we saw you guys at Big Bear Growl, we saw you guys at the Bear Growl. Uh, and you know, that little storm was nothing, didn't, didn't affect us, man. I can't wait. Well, wait. We have it on tape, by the way. So uh, we will get you out there another time, it'd be great. Chachi, Pop Evil, the new album Onyx, get it? It's awesome, you're gonna love it. Drill Rock 1039 The Bear.